Two years before the completion of my military contract, my wife and I had to make some decisions on the way we were going to live our lives for the next 20 or 30 years. I think the genesis for the decision to leave the Navy was the fact that we wanted to stay here in Nova Scotia and grow our family here. Once I made that decision, actually, it, it felt right, it felt good, and that's when the entrepreneurship started to creep in. Well, you're not in the shipping business unless you own a ship. You become obsessed with boats when you know you're gonna buy one. The ship is a fairly expensive item to manage. Fuel, berthing fees, ship repairs. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Most companies won't take on those expenses. We really want to introduce some leeway or some flexibility. It's a big wide open deck with some hydraulics on the back end that allow a launch and recovery of equipment Ocean Tech and research companies would be able to take advantage of. And now we've created an opportunity for people to get to see in a reasonable price. What I wanted to do is try and assemble the A-Team. Most of us come from a naval background. We've seen a lot of issues, we've been a lot of places. 10,000 sea days, it's a lot of sea days. So these are tube worms, and in here you've probably got little amphipods. To be at sea and witness their equipment going in the water, the launching and recovering of that, and just feeling what it's like to be out to sea for the first time. The students have a huge success. They were really excited to now have a ship that's essentially parked right beside them at the Center for Ocean Ventures and Entrepreneurship. To me, there feels like a buzz about the ocean tech industry, and it was Cove that initiated all that. We expect the ocean tech sector to expand significantly in the coming years, and we're preparing our fleet to expand with it.